Hey, what's up? So today I'm going to talk about how I passed the Security Plus exam within two weeks of studying. Um, yeah, so Security Plus is a good certificate that you can take to get into ent entry level uh, cybersecurity positions. And it's also just good knowledge to have overall for cybersecurity practices. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get into it. So everything I share on here with my uh, test taking strategy, I will add in the comments. For me, I am more of a hands-on learner. So doing exams definitely helped. Uh, I also tried to listen to videos, but sometimes auditory learning uh, I don't pick up everything, so I think using exams to help supplement that definitely helped for me. So the first thing you want to do is look at the uh, exam objectives. Uh, the exam I looked in, uh, I took was uh, 601. I know 701 is coming out, is going to be official soon, and 601 is ending potentially in the middle of next year. But the first thing you want to do is definitely look at the exam objectives so you understand what they're looking for. Uh, the most important thing is look at the, the different domains that they have listed for the exam. And this gives you different targets for you to study. Uh, so there's uh, 0 0.1 for attacks, threats, and vulnerabilities, architecture, design, implementation, Operations and incident response, governance, risk, and compliance. So I'm going to show you how I use these do different domains to identify which areas I needed to study in. Um, a good first start starting place is to go to the eCompass, e and they have. Uh, practice exams that you can take in different areas for, uh, that help you pre uh, prepare for Security Plus. So they have uh, 26 tests and they have like 25 questions for each test. And each of these tests go over a very specific area of one of these five domains. And what I would recommend doing is when you're going through these tests, whenever you find something you don't, no, create some notes on it and look it up. So as I was going through that, those practice exams, anytime I found something I didn't understand, I would create a, a note, notes for it. I also, um, instead of searching for those topics, I also use ChatGPT to help me with understanding different uh, different uh, topics related to cybersecurity. What you can do is ChatGPT can be broken down into different sections and when you start chatting with ChatGPT you can tell it that you want to you're practicing for the security plus exam and you want it to act as a tutor for you. So whenever you give it different uh, topics related to cybersecurity that seem obscure like this one CCM. So anyways you can use these tests to find abbreviations that you don't understand and then you can create notes around those abbreviations or definitions that you might not understand. Could you show you? Show you an abbreviation? Yeah, open the page so like, like AAA. AAA is for authentication authorization. Account. That's an abbreviation. Right? Yeah. Okay, yep, so that's abbreviation. And like A, B, A, C, you know. It's an abbreviation for mm -hmm. So when you're doing this test, you might not know the answer, and I would say just do your best guess, and then it gives you the answers at the end. And from there, you just like refine your knowledge. So if you don't understand an abbreviation, look it up and then add it into your notes. Once you uh, do these quests, uh, 
quizzes. I also use this app to help me with studying better. Alright, so the app is called IT and Cybersecurity Pocket Prep. Uh, there we go. And with this, what you can do is after you can test your knowledge and it'll give you like different statuses on how you're doing on diff on those domains that they talked about earlier for the uh, security plus objectives. It's hard to see here, but yeah. So from there you can understand um, which domains you might need to work on after you've taken these exams and then you've done some of these random questions on the app. Uh, from there, once you understand what areas you're weak in, you can use Professor Messer courses to study up on the areas that you might not understand as much. Because he, So he has it set up where those different domains are different sections you can check out in his video courses. I also recommend like uh, trying out his exams because they are closest to the uh, the actual exam. And what I did was I took his uh, his exams over two days before the test. Uh, I also spent like five hours studying for the test as well uh, over the course of two weeks. But at the end, I took his uh, exam and then I, I just studied up on areas that I missed on, on that exam. Another good uh, study resource is the Cybercraft. And you can search the Cybercraft PBQ Security Plus. And this will go over different um, performance-based questions uh, that, that might show up on the the test and finally the last resource that I would recommend is also related to Cybercraft and this gives you a list of common ports that might show up on security plus I also wanted to mention um, if you're more hands-on a good certificate course you could take before security plus is the Google cybersecurity professional certificate and what this uh, certificate allows you to do is explore eight domains related to cybersecurity, and I would highly recommend it for someone who is just entering into cybersecurity or has an interest in cybersecurity. Kind of different. It kind of touches upon different areas, uh, and it will somewhat prepare you for Security Plus. Not so much. It'll give you more hands-on practice which is good for us hands-on learners and it, they also give you a discount on security plus once you complete the course